wait a minute, something ain't right. This is the wave 1 and the boss is already here and I don't think that Golden Scouts can handle a guy that has over 1 million health. I mean they're trying their best to do any damage but unfortunately for them the nuclear monster decided to spawn in even more stuff. This is going great so far. By the way, if you don't know by now what are we doing, make sure TDS Dev spawned in a boss on wave 1, so when the original boss spawns in, he will have much more health on wave 40 than usual, thanks to one of the modifiers that increases health of enemies each wave. This is indeed very slow, but thankfully there is a way to speed the boss up to the end, so it won't take like 10 more waves. But I don't think this is exactly safe to do, because we do only have one monster in the background and those circuits aren't exactly weak. They have 2000, 2500 health and we only have 100 health base, we don't, it, so if any of them leaks, we won't survive. Just look how fast nuclear monster is going. This is like 5 times faster than normal. And next sure spawned a second monster just in time before we died those circuits. The only way for us to kill the boss was to give us just a little bit of health so there won't be any monsters, monsters left behind because they do get stuck when they attack the enemy. And we also wanted to play kinda legit without death abuse as of yet. However, that didn't last long. We got our health back to normal and we took a little bit of damage but it sh that shouldn't matter. And right now our defense is mostly Golden Scout and Golden Pyromaster to deal with the enemies. And we should survive up to like wave 20 without problems if we continue upgrading Golden Scouts and I don't see how we could possibly lose with this defense. Okay, it's wave 14 and we have Golden Scouts on level 3, Golden Pyromancer on level 1, 2 Gladiators on level 3 for whatever reason, and we also have 2 War Machines on level 2 both. And I think this defense is more than enough for us to survive the mystery wave, so I will just keep on farming to get more money later on. We started to struggle on wave 19, and I didn't know why, however, However, what I didn't notice was the fact that the mutation modifier also affected the necromancer boss and his skeleton minions. Because if we rewind to the very first wave, you can notice that the nuclear monster actually spawned in the necromancer on wave 1. And because of that, instead of having like 900 health, how he's, he is supposed to, he actually has over 2000 and his minions as well, instead of like 60 HP, they had like 150 health each. And because of that it wasn't easy to deal with this wave, he just kept on spawning those skeletons and we almost died, but thankfully we were too good and beat the boss very easily anyways. You might wonder how much health Amalgamation will have on wave 22, since you could also see him on wave 1, where he has 25,000 health now, and his minions have like 500 health as well. So if you thought that amalgamation was hard, look at it now. We have we have 3 maxed out accelerators, war machines, and even mecha bases, and we still struggle to beat him. And if it wasn't the fact that we've got those three max accelerators, we could most likely die to him. But this only gets worse and worse. You have circuits with 6000 HP each, rushes which have like 5000 HP each, and the only reason we are still surviving those enemies is because of maxed out mecha bases. If it weren't for them, we would probably be dead by wave 20. On wave 30 first abomination spawns in and me and my teammates expected the worst to happen because we all saw it spawn in on wave 1, meaning that it would have a lot of health. 
like a lot of health. Same with his second stage, and there he is. He has over 70,000 HP and is super fast, and I'm sure the mecha base and Axel is able to handle him, right? And thankfully, yes, they are. However, something unusual happened, and let's give this a replay. Abomination had like 35,000 HP left, but it somehow died instantly. It just like died. How? Was it because of like Mecha Base that ran into him? But Mecha Base has only like 5,000 HP and not 35,000. I will take that as a triumph if game likes us that much, I guess. Nothing much happened between wave 31 and 37, we just kept placing towers like engineers and accelerators, and next we kept on placing mecha bases so we wouldn't die to the sheer amount of enemies with tons of HP. But the most dangerous enemies were still like amalgamations and the abominations, because they had like so much HP, and the minions, like amalgamation minions, they also had a lot of HP. But Necromancer boss was also very tough, since he kept on spawning like 6 enemies every few seconds and every that every single enemy had like 10,000 HP each that he spawned in. And on wave 38 we got like $100 to afford to place down as many towers as we wanted in order to have a chance as at defeating the boss. Here is the final wave. We had axles pretty much on every space possible, and we've got a lot of mecha bases. Boss itself has 7 million health, but with the sheer amount of towers placed, the TPS we had was insane. And that's it for my commentary. The only thing left that I will mention is the fact that I'm only like missing 4,500 subscribers to 100,000. So I'd I would be very happy if you guys subscribed, if you haven't already. Anyways, that's it. Enjoy the last fight.